Hey YouTubers, this is Bamboo. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. It's probably not going to be quick because none of mine have been quick so far. But um, anyway, I just wanted to put a couple thoughts down today. It is Monday, June the 7th. So my surgery is three weeks from today. Um, three weeks. Gosh, it's going so fast. So it, it seems like it was just January and I was just finding out that I was going to have this done. Um, but yeah, so I'm three weeks away and I'm uh, getting really excited about it. Uh, I've been following a lot of people on here and doing a lot of video watching over the last couple weeks and um, for those of you who have befriended me, um, hello and I'm super excited that you would want to follow me because when I started doing these videos just this last week I didn't think that anybody would follow me. So um, yeah, that's kind of neat I think. Um, yeah, so I want to apologize. I look really totally crappy today, and uh, it's because I was swimming over the weekend. I, I have some family, my aunt and uncle, who live up north of me, have an in-ground swimming pool, which is fabulous to have in the family. Um, I don't get to go a lot anymore because I live quite a ways away from them, but they're just, they're always, like, welcoming. You, I mean, pretty well anyone in the family can just call them up and say, hey, I want to come swim, and they say, hey, come on out. And um, so I spent about three hours in the pool in the sun and I didn't sunscreen and that's pretty abnormal for me. Um, I'm very fair complected. My dad is a redhead and unfortunately I was uh, given more of those genes and I have lots of the freckles and the whole deal and very fair complected skin. I luckily did not get red hair but um, have been told to expect it in my children because they may have it and it wouldn't surprise me. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm just like a lobster now. I'm so burnt and uncomfortable. My shoulders are burnt. My back's burnt. My arms are burnt. My face is burnt. My scalp is burnt. You know, it's just not fun. So I didn't feel like, you know, putting a hot blow dryer in my hair today. And I said, uh, I'll just put on a baseball cap and call it good. Um, so I don't have any makeup or anything else on because my, my cheeks hurt. Um, yeah. Um, this weekend was really fun and I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about what's been going on and in my life and just a couple things I've noticed. Um, when I was, I went home to visit my, my family. I live about 80, 85 miles away from most of the rest of my family who live in Springfield, um, Illinois, which is the state capital, though most people... Ugh, for some reason think Chicago is the capital but it's not um, anyway so I went home for the weekend and um, I had such a nice time my husband did not go with me which is kind of unusual usually I have him and the dog and um, this time I was a free single woman uh, I didn't have a dog or a husband so um, it gave me an opportunity to really spend some good time with my brothers and um, my parents and my sisters-in-law and all that so, um, yeah, I had fun. Uh, I played mini golf on Saturday night with the family, and uh, my parents live right directly across the street from a mini golf course, and uh, I pretty well grew up with it, and it was so much fun. to go. It's just always fun to go over there, and um, it's just neat because my, my older brother and I in particular have been kind of a part of the history of that place. It's been around since the 60s, and obviously I'm not that old, but um, we moved right across the street uh, when I was two, so nearly my entire life has been an exposure to this place, and um, the, the people who used to work there would want us to come over, and they would babysit us, and um, we would plant flowers and help take care of the courses, and... I mean, you name it, we did it over there. We used to make the announcements. We They just let us do everything, which was so neat. You know, you just, not every kid got that kind of um, a neat thing to do when you when they were so little. Um, but the inside of the place has this great little snack bar. And um, they used to have all kinds of old pictures from birthday parties because this was a very hot place when I was um, younger to have your birthday party. And... Um, 
so they used to have just tons of collage posters of uh, birthday party pictures. But the owner is um, an older couple. The gentleman died um, about five or six years ago. But his wife still owns it, and she still kind of runs it, even though she has hires a lot of help, you know. Um, she's in her mid-80s, so she has no business really doing anything with it. But she still does. And um, so she decided it was time to redecorate, and she just wanted to put up kind of just one wall of bigger, like, 8 by 10 size pictures. And they were calling it the wall from the past. And um, lo and behold, when I walked in, the first picture I saw was a picture of me when I was probably three to four, um, putting with my older brother and several of the employees at that time and um, some of the owner's children. And it's just like, it floored me to um, realize that I really was part of this place, this history, you know, like, and, and the fact that the owner feels the same way about that, like that she realizes that we were, I mean, we were there every day, all summer long. And um, not only, you know, just running around helping do the work, but we were also um, regular customers. I mean, we would play and play and play and play and play. So it's pretty neat going back, but I was uh, kind of reminded about why I'm going to do this surgery because, um, you know, playing on Saturday night was, um, it was hot and it was muggy and I was sweaty and I felt gross and, um, yeah, I just felt out of place. My family, there's nobody else in my family who is this size. My brothers, I have a younger brother who is four years younger than me and he is like a little pencil. I mean, he has just always been a rail, very athletic, very skinny. And my older brother is by no means obese. I mean, he may be slightly overweight, but he is not obese. And um, he's 18 months older than me. And, uh, you know, it's just been like, I feel like I've been on the, a sore thumb in the family for a long time because of that. And I really, I know my obesity is not directly related to um, my genes. It's related to some trauma that I went through, which I talked about earlier. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've just never felt like I've kind of been the black sheep of the family. And it's always been something that people don't talk about. You know, my family doesn't talk about my weight. They just, I mean, it probably would be way more awkward if they did, you know. So it's been just like a hush-hush thing. And, um, but everyone is so supportive of this surgery. And, um, I was talking to my older brother about, um, the weight that I'm expecting to lose or that I'm hoping to lose. Um, and I kind of have a number in my head of what I'd like to see gone in a year. Um, I'm not going to announce that to the world because I feel like if I do, then people will be under the impression that, you know, if I fail to reach that, that I've failed in some way. And, um, I'm not going to look at it from that perspective at all. But um, I did share that with my family and um, my brother, I think it really started to sink into him that he doesn't see me, but maybe once a month, sometimes it's less frequent than that. And that um, after June 28th, when, whenever he sees me, it may be like looking at a different person for a while. And um, so I think it's really starting to impact everyone and starting to really settle in that like this is really going to happen and um, that there really are risks involved to this. And, um, in some ways I almost felt like I was, um, saying a goodbye to them just in case something bad happens. And, um, that's so sc It scared me. It really, really scared me to think about. And, um, I have yet to let myself explore that in my mind as a possibility of, um, something happening like death. Um, I know it's a pretty rare thing and I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't confident in the surgeon that I've chosen and the program that I'm going to go through, but it's still something I think it's wise to uh, consider. And uh, so I have, and um, I feel like they know just in case something happens that this is what I want. Like I want, I know I have to do it. Like, I just have to do it. I've tried everything else and nothing else has worked. So this is what I have to do. And good, bad, ugly, you know, if I don't make it or whatever, then um, I go out of this world knowing that I did all that I could do to make myself healthy. And um, so I think that everybody in my family seems to get that now. 
And um, so I feel, you know, a lot more peace with this, like knowing that I've explored every single option of what could happen. And um, yeah, so that's all I really have to say. And my time is going to run out. So